hello and welcome in today's video we're going to review the top 5 best comic readers for windows of 2020 let's get started all right now we have m comics uh, it is again, it is an open source application and let's just go straight into it so let's open a comic let's select the Vader comic give me a second alright so let's open it let's go from the beginning it has uh, an option to continue reading so we have uh, the most important thing here is uh, full screen and uh, these uh, viewing modes we have fit width, fit height fit size but, but the fit width is the best for me you can also go full screen now to scroll you can use your mouse pretty tough you can use your mouse wheel again you have to do see you have to do a lot of scrollings and now you just scrolling through my folders let me just open the comic again okay so back to full screen and we can you see scrolling is pretty tough scrolling with space is ugly because there is no animation so yeah that's that okay so the next comic reading application we have is uh, Manga Mia, or if it's said like that. So it's uh, pretty old from the days of Windows XP. So to open a comic, you can do open file, open folder. We're going to open file. I'm going to find my comic. So this PC, the temp downloads. Find my Vader comic. Alright, there it is. Let's open it. And you can see the interface here. Uh, you can uh, go for the screen, which I'm going to do in a minute. You have some full screen settings, not not much stuff. Scaling it fits to width and fit to window. You see, and that should be the most important stuff. Not much important stuff after that. So let's go to full screen and see what scrolling is like. So the mouse wheel does not is not used for scrolling, but it goes through pages. Space doesn't work for scrolling. That's okay. Arrows don't do anything. And here I'm panning. So it's pretty sensitive. Yeah, it's too sensitive for me. But if you like it, then that's your thing, but too sensitive. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Okay, now we have Yak Reader. I'll just open a library. So you have to give it a name first. Let's call it Vader and select our folder so I'm just going to go with my downloads folder because that's where I have all my comics now it's going to list all my files that I have in there let's open the Vader comic that I have double click it so let's go to the beginning all right, so here it is. Now, the thing that I don't like about it is that you cannot go full screen. You always need to have this toolbar up here. Uh, you can uh, you have these uh, these modes, fit width, fit height, and these two. I like the fit width the most. You have uh, the right click menu to open all of this stuff. You see now scrolling uh, you can 
do it like this, like the panning. Pretty bare. Would be nice if it, it if it was easier. You can use your scroll wheel. You can see how much it scrolls. You get to the end, it will do it automatically. Go to the next page, and you can go with space and jump a lot. So yeah, that's that. All right, now we have Comic Rack. Uh, Comic Rack is uh, pretty modern and uh, it has some nice features. So let's open a comic. Uh, we're going to go to open book. And I'm going to select my type of file. So let's just go with all supported files. Now it says that uh, zip and rar are supported, but if you try to open them, it's actually not. So yeah, that sucks. Uh, so let's open the Vader comic that we had. Now, uh, to go to full screen, we have to press this. And... Uh, yeah, here it goes. So to scroll, you can use the mouse, like this. So we are jumping. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Weird. So, you see you have it scrolling like this with the mouse. Then you can use your scroll wheel. And it will automatically jump the pages. And you can use space. You see it transitioning like that. After you switch the page, you see the pager. You see the page view down here. It sometimes weirdly jumps, uh, goes out of full screen like this for some reason. I, I don't know why. Yeah, but that is pretty much the only downside. And there is one more thing you can. I don't know if it's broken for me, but you have this library section where you're supposed to see the comics that you have read, that you're reading and stuff but nothing just appears for me, just nothing here you can also select uh, stuff from folders you see what's readable, what's not and here you can just see the pages of your comic so that's that Alright, and the last and the best one is Comic Swiper. It is a very new application and it has a lot of interesting and unique features. For example, they have a website where you can see uh, reviews of comics and you can see what you will read next. Uh, and you have uh, cloud history, so that means that you can see uh, what you have read on other devices as well. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. First, let's see how to open a comic and what the experience is like. So, to open a comic, we select one of these buttons. So, comic folder with images, Im an image or from local history. Let's go with the comic one and let's find our comic. So, the Vader one. Let's open it. So, as you see, we can uh, go full screen. I'm going to show you that. So right click and then go for the screen. Or you can press, press escape. See? And it changes. Alright. To scroll we can go like this. Very nice scrolling. We can use the mouse wheel. And what is interesting is that we can use arrow keys. So here. Arrow keys to the same distance as mouse wheel. Now, there are, it is also very customizable. So when, when I click this, I can actually set up how much I will be swiping. So I can change the swipe distance, I, let's say it's 15.6. I can change the, the distance how, uh, of my mouse wheel and uh, arrows. So let, let's test this uh, swipe distance first. So let's go like this You see how much more it goes. Alright, now let's... Uh, change the error distance to uh, let's say 800 
now we can see how much more it scrolls and you, we can change the animation duration so let's say 10 hit it now all right uh, and uh, one interesting thing that uh, this application has is that uh, it actually loads uh, more more pages at once so see uh, this step size thing uh, that is actually how many pages it will load at once so just uh, so if the step size is 5 that means that it will load the 5 pages at a time so when we get to the bottom so let's go to the bottom all right and uh, if I press load more or space or enter that is one of the shortcuts we will actually go to the ne next step of pages so the next five pages and then we go down and then we have another one all right so now I will show you the history feature let me just remove the comic so we just go right click then go to open and remove comic all right so now I will show you the history part so you go to history we have local history so that's the comic that I just opened see pages ready 11 of 23 and everything about it uh, we have uh, local and cloud history and now it will just load it in and here it is so now it's uploaded to the cloud now from the history uh, window we can uh, rate the comic so this will pop up and I've already typed out but as you can see it's a very, very good comic I can all, I can uh, submit it and I can also submit it by going to the end of the comic so let's just go go to page select page for example 21 and then this will also pop up and then I can select my sci-fi and English and this I can say like awesome comic and I click submit and now your review has been su successfully posted and I can see it on the portal so the website I click it and there it is you can see my five star rating awesome comic the thumbnail and here is my username uh, and if you go to the home page you can actually see all the other posts there will be more as more people come uh, so yeah that's that I just want to just show you how to make an account to make an account uh, you just press this one this button and uh, type in your email and password and nickname and it will create an account that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next one